Sunday to you, the Lord's Day. We're on our way to work. I know, I'm working on the Lord's Day. I'm gonna be in big trouble. I gotta go down to Minnesota. We have a whole bunch of loads that are waiting for, uh, to, waiting to be picked up. They're big, those big cement pieces. So I've gotta take an empty trailer down there near Minneapolis. It's a town uh, called Albany, Minnesota. Gotta grab a trailer, uh, drop the empty trailer there, pick up a loaded one and bring it back. Uh, it's already quarter to three. I had to wait for the roads to open because we had another snowstorm yesterday on Saturday. Uh, the date today is February 20th, 2022. Sorry, I should have opened with that when I'm filming this. But the weather's not too cold. It's just we got a ton of snow again. So I spent all day, all morning shoveling out our driveway. And then Britt shoveled out our neighbor's driveway. So uh, she got her workout in today. <laughs> but as you can see, I got all my gloves and toques on my dash here drying off on the way to work because they were all just soaked in sweat. Well, it should be dry by the time we go. I gotta grab a, a Volvo, unit 3056. Uh, it's gonna be an overnighter, it might even be a two-nighter. Because the load is gonna be over dimension, it's gonna be wide load coming back. So I've got to, uh, I'm not gonna be able to drive past sundown tomorrow. I might not make it back, we might get back Tuesday. But that's a worry for tomorrow, let's let tomorrow worry about tomorrow, let's worry about today. Let's get the truck running, let's get our empty trailer pulled out. Hopefully they're not buried in too much snow. Let's get the truck loaded up, warmed up. Let's head down to Minnesota. Merka. It's exactly like we thought it would be here. Tons and tons of snow. Uh, they're here trying to dig out some trucks already. There's that truck that's being dug out. The one I'm taking is the one beside it right over there. Uh, the snowbank on the other side is right up to the driver's door. You can just walk right up the snowbank right into the truck. He's cleared all this snow out here already. The whole yard is is a mess. I'll show you which trailer I'm gonna take. He's working with this guy here anyways. Uh, I'll go give you a look. It's kind of buried as well. So let's go for a little ride. This isn't so bad here out in the open. This truck might be in my way here, but uh, I'm gonna take that trailer, one of these trailers right here. The only problem with that is that uh, that trailer's in the way, so I'm gonna have to maneuver my way out of here. I want this black one. It looks like it's in the best shape. This one's all kind of old and rusty. <laughs> They're rentals, but that one looks, I want the better one. If I can, I don't know why the tarps are on there though. It's just in case, just in case. Might as well have them, right? This snow over here. Four wheel drive it through here. No problem. You see that Chevy emblem right there? That's the get out of anything in 4WD symbol. They got this guy out, which means my turn. There's my truck. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit of snow. <laughs> we gotta get this thing out of here somehow. Yikes, you can pretty much walk right up into the truck. That should be fun, right? What else would we want to be doing on a Sunday? Good times. So he's going to dig out all the snow here first. And then he's going to try to pull me out. Alright, I got it out of there. He pulled me out. But my rear wheels on the other side were seized, well not seized, they were frozen. So I had to unfreeze them or convince them that, hey, it's time to go. They, they didn't want to go. So we got all the wheels turning now. A lot of snow in here. I'm hoping that's not gonna 
cause problems on the highway with unbalanced tires now there's so much snow on the wheels but uh we'll worry about that in a minute right now i'm getting all my stuff inside i'm gonna park this pickup somewhere safe and uh go get our trailer so that we can start headed down we're uh much further behind than we wanted to be but that's okay this will probably go into a two-nighter now i'm thinking i'll probably be back tuesday we'll see what happens you can hear hear the air moving through there now i'm hooked onto this trailer i had to plow my way through the snow i'm i'm pretty sure i can get out shouldn't be a problem i'm just really hoping that these brakes aren't locked i'm waiting i'm waiting for the whole trailer to be charged with air before i move it so we're gonna fill up this air tank on the trailer from the truck and that should release all the brakes you can tell that these have released already because these tires have moved a little bit when the brakes released just in the snow you can see the cracks there and there i think i see it on that one over there too i can see the brakes on that one from here they're released airbags are filling up i think we're ready to uh pull right out of here well let's hope that none of these uh trailer brakes are frozen now's the time i'm gonna give it a shot i really hope i don't have to crawl underneath there and bang on any brakes i hope that everyone's gonna cooperate it's been enough trouble today already we need to get going Thank God. The other side was turning too, I could see in my mirror. Thank God. Now we gotta wiggle ourselves out of here. Someone parked this trailer right here for some reason. Terrible spot to park it. We're out. I'm just going to uh, adjust my lights. For some reason my lights are not working. So something's not connecting here properly. I'm just gonna wiggle that around a bit, get that connecting. Everything else is good to go. Minnesota. You ready for me? <laughs> All right, I think we're pretty well set up in here. On our way. We're gonna stop at the Truckers Inn. The truck stop in Sauk Center, Minnesota. I have to correct myself. I said Albany is Mi Minneapolis. I misunderstood. <laughs> It's not Minneapolis, it's closer to Sock Center. It's like between Sock Center and uh, what's that town called? Clear Spring or Clearwood, where that big TA is. Man, I haven't been down there in a little while. Man, I'm forgetting my town names, that's not good. Yeah, we're on our way down now anyways. Got everything we need. We got Karen set up here, she's being quiet. She's a good girl. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> I couldn't say that with a straight face. And we should be there in like five hours, five and a half hours. I'm only allowed, or I can only do hundred kilometers an hour in this truck, 60 miles an hour. That's where this truck is limited at. This is another truck that's identical to 3062. That was the truck I was in for two or three years there. Uh, so it's exactly identical in here. So it feels like home. The roads are pretty good. You can see this, this right hand lane is, uh, uh, these drifts are starting to drift into my lane here a little bit. But we're still doing all right. The road's not icy despite what it looks like right now. It's The camera doesn't really do it justice. If this lane does get too bad, I can always move over to the left lane. However, since I can only do 100 kilometers an hour, I don't really want to hog the left lane for longer than I need to. I'm going to stop at the Flying J in St. Adolph, Manitoba and fill myself up with some good old Canadian diesel fuel. So we're set because it's gonna get cold the next couple of days and I wanna make sure I got good fuel in this truck. Karen's starting to give me lip. I've deviated from her path. I'm going to the Flying J. She doesn't think we need fuel. <laughs> That's why you're not in charge, Karen. Continue on this road to no. Kilometers. no, I'm gonna turn here. I'm the boss. Oh, it's a bumpy road. Just gotta show her who's the boss every now and then, you know? Reminder. Saying it's well for living, homie. No! Get some fuel. 
Oh yeah, here we go. There's so much snow. So much snow everywhere. Most everything's cleared already, but this winter has been really good for snowmobilers and like cross country skiers and snowshoe, whatever you guys do in the winter time. It's been a good winter for, uh, for the outdoors people. That's for sure. And it's been a fantastic season for all these guys who are contracted to clear snow. They're just raking it in. I'm going to spend their whole summer in Hawaii or something with all the money they're making. <laughs> Hopefully they got a pump open for me. I don't need any DEF, but I do need fuel. I'm at a half a tank and I don't want to fuel down in the US. Not that I think that that fuel is bad, I just think that ours is better in the winter time. That, that's just, it's just made for colder temperatures, okay? Oh, that, is that pump closed? That's pump closed. I want the middle one. That one closed. Why is there a cone? It's like the cone is sort of in the lane, but it's not totally in the lane. It's like, is it closed? Is it not closed? It can't make up its mind. It's like Karen. I'm gonna go on this one. Look at that, it's, like it's half closed. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get a bean to cup. Oh, yes. That is gonna be great. Look at this nice truck right there. Oh, beautiful. Dream time. Oh, he likes palm trees too. I like that guy. Good guy. Shares my affinity for palm trees. A little ways down into North Dakota here, between Grand Forks and Fargo. What's going on here? There's a lot of flashy lights. They look like they're right across the road. What do we got here? One police officer. I'll just get onto the shoulder here. Snow plow. Is this all just about plows? The road is fine. What are the plows doing out? There's no snow on the road here. Okay. Go onto the shoulder. Wow, what is going on? Another snow plow. Another snow plow. I think this is a cop. Oh, I see a wrecker in the, is that a wrecker in the ditch? Is there a big tow truck in the ditch? Is there a tow truck pulling out a tow truck? And why do you need this many people here for that? Like seriously? Yeah, there's a tow truck in the ditch. What's going on here? Excuse me, sir. You're facing the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, no. It's a livestock truck. Yeah, there's a wrecker in the ditch, but he's not stuck. Holy smokes. smokes man oh man those poor livestock that was a loaded livestock truck oh, I hope they're all okay in there oh man the guy who was facing the wrong way was there to recover the livestock I guess there's the truckers in haven't been here in a while it used to be a regular stop for me all the time I'm seeing uh, DOT signs, warning signs all along the side of the highway on the way here that there's a snowstorm moving in. It's gonna hit at 11. Sorry, it's gonna hit at midnight. Man, I'm tired, 11. It's gonna hit at midnight. 
So I just can't get away from the bad weather. Hopefully it'll all be passed and through here by the time I wake up so that I can go and uh, get my load and go home. What's the time now? The time is, well, it's 10 to midnight and I don't see any snowstorm yet. Ah, oh boy, let's see. Where are we going to go and park? Probably at the back there. That's where I always used to park. I always, I'd always walk diesel in the back there. I miss those days. It's nice to be back, though. It's always lots of room in the back there. Wonderful. And that's it, everybody. C'est fini. It is finished. Crawl into my little bed here. See how this truck is exactly like the Volvo that I was in for so long? Identical. It seems so small in here now, though, right? Because I've gotten used to the bigger trucks. But it's still bigger than my day cab. Oh, this feels good. Why am I still wearing this vest? You know, you guys always ask me, why do you wear that vest all the time? It's just a habit already. <laughs> just a habit. I always wear it. It's just my work sweater. Make sure the doors are locked. And we're going to bed. Oh, I gotta stay here for 10 hours before the US law will let me uh, continue on my way to go pick up my load just down the road. It's gonna be a good night though. Oh yeah. <sighs> Nothing beats sleeping in the truck. I sleep so good when I'm in the truck. Uh, feels like home, you know, in a different way. Like don't take that the wrong way. I love being at home with my family, but there's something about sleeping in a truck that's just, <sighs> relaxing it's the sound of diesel engines around you knowing that your fellow truckers are surrounding you your brothers and sisters of the highway <sighs> knowing that there's a whole nother day of trucking ahead of you tomorrow ah uh, yeah it's a good day I hope this snowstorm they're talking about doesn't roll in it's supposed to roll in midnight and it's midnight Let's check the weather, shall we? You always want to check the weather with me? Always be prepared. Oh, yes, it's time to go to bed. I've already told the e-log that I've gone to bed. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Hey, weather, tell me. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? We are in Sauk Center, Minnesota right now. It is minus 10 Celsius. Apparently it's supposed to start snowing. 92% chance of snow. But it's going to be pretty warm though. Yikes. Yeah, the snow's going to start... Oh. Oh. It's going to start more around... Uh, looks like 1 a.m. And then it's going to go all the way through the night. I'm looking at my forecast here. Right here. Okay. So we're at midnight right now. It's midnight. It's supposed to be snowing. 92% chance of snow. Huh. So there's an 8% chance that uh, the weather's exactly like you see out the window. Okay. And then from there on, snow, 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 snow. Hey, hey. Snow, 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 all the way up. I want to leave here at about 10 a.m. 81% chance of snow then, too, all the way through tomorrow. Monday, Tuesday, snow, 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 snow. Sock Center. Those temperatures are in Celsius, if you're wondering. The six-hour snow outlook. Snow is likely to continue. There, It's not snowing, man. This weather app is confused. So this is what we're looking at. Okay, so. Uh, so we're just in a open patch of it, eh? 
Check that out. Oh yeah, you see that? See, there's Winnipeg up there. There's from oh yeah we got just this line of snow going through here right where i'm at i'm out, i'm right at the bottom of it that's why we're not seeing any uh any snow right now okay so i should miss the brunt of it we're gonna get some through the day tomorrow okay i think i came prepared i brought three blankets i brought this purple one I brought another one over there and another one underneath that, so I got three blankets just in case we're prepared. So thanks for joining me today, anybody. Uh, anyways, everybody, I'm tired as you can tell. I haven't been mixing up my words. It's time to go to bed. This trucker's tired. We'll see you right here for some more trucking tomorrow. Okay, be prepared. Apparently, it's gonna snow. This is what we're looking at right now, though. Pretty nice weather. Minnesota. Signing out.